Uh, I was there photographing these lichens. So um, this lichen grows one centimeter every hundred years. Um, so I love that's my favorite statistic of the whole project. That really, it's I find it mind-boggling. Um, but also, it's one of those things. And I should mention that the minimum age of the of the organisms I photograph is two thousand years, and that was meant as to mark the idea of year zero and looking back from there. So why is it 2014 right now? Um, it's something we just take for granted that the, t the time scales that we use are actually incredibly narrow. So when we hear uh, about <laughs> what if you spend an entire lifespan just growing a centimeter? And you know that's actually, uh, that's slower than continents are drifting away from each other. So um, but, you know, so the project <laughs> is definitely, um, it's a conceptual one, there's a lot of research involved, there's a lot of science involved, but I'm also making art objects. Um, so you can get a little bit of a sense of the scale of uh, my exhibition prints, which are around 40 by 50, um, and I shoot film, medium format film, except for in the cases where I'm doing microscopy or some of the, um, the underwater uh, images are digital. Um, but in general, I'm trying to approach this work not so much as landscapes, but more as portraits of these organisms, because I really think of them as individuals. And one of the things that um, is really underpinning the whole project is trying to connect with these timescales that are incredibly abstract and hard to internalize. So physiologically, our brains don't really want to compute these timescales that are so biologically different from our life, from our own lifespans. And so the way we learn anything is we make some, we forge some personal connection. And so that is, so anthropomorphizing these organisms is one of the overarching goals for me in, ter in terms of just trying to get a little way in. So a little way to understand what it means to be alive for 10,000 years or 100,000 years or half a million years. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to show you a few of the of the of my subjects. Um, this is called the Yoretta. These are sort of the poster child poster children of the project. So I couldn't not share these with you. This is not moss over rocks. It is actually a shrub, um, and it's made up of thousands of branches. And at the ends of each branch is a little cluster of leaves. Um, and this lives um, in the Atacama Desert, um, very high elevation, um, and um, growing, again, incredibly slowly. 